What's going on guys, JB Tech here, and as you can tell, I do have these two sticks of RAM. This is RAM, by the way. It is 8 gigs, and what I've been lately, what I've been wanting to do is actually replace my MacBook Pro 13 inch. It's RAM, which has 4 gigs at the moment, which only has two slots, so it's 2 gigs, or 2 sticks of 2 gigs. But anyways, I have been wanting to replace that because... I do run Final Cut Pro 10 and I mean it honestly it's really choppy and slow so I assume with RAM because RAM does help you load programs faster and just process things quicker so the more RAM you got the better your computer will run the faster the smoother and everything so I decided to get pick up 8 gigs of RAM and this is made by Crucial as you can tell there and I did pick this up at bestbuy.com you can check out the description below for the link and it was only like about $50 so it wasn't too much it's pretty cheap for 8 gigs of RAM um, anyways I have used Crucial before and back in my PC days I did use Crucial and it never failed I did have 8 gigs in my Windows computer that I used to actually do work on and everything but now that I've actually moved on to just Macs and Apple and all that I did decide to go ahead and go with Crucial because like I said they never failed me so it was great RAM so I decided to pick up 8 gigs of RAM for my MacBook Pro and I'm hoping this does speed up things so I kind of just want to do an installation video and help you out just in case you've never installed any RAM or anything to any kind of computer so it's really easy this is actually if you've never done it before you can actually do it yourself for the first time don't be scared it's really simple and yeah guys let's go ahead and get started all right guys so before we do start of course we do have to have our computer turned off so be sure that it's turned off and then go ahead and also get a screwdriver we do need a screwdriver like this I don't know if I can focus in yeah this small screwdriver because we will be taking out little bitty screws in the back of the MacBook so yeah so also just go ahead and touch it and just get the static out of you because you don't want to touch anything like any components or anything with you have like any type of shock or static or whatnot because you could have chances of ruining your whole computer so just be aware that just go ahead and touch it and yeah we'll go ahead and flip it on the back side and then we will have to take out all these little screws these there's gonna be four here and then four here and then two here so it's gonna be ten total so go ahead and take those out or unscrew those Alright guys, once we are done taking out those screws, we'll simply just have to lift this up and then put it aside for now. And then right here, this is where all of our RAM is, right here in this area. Alright guys, so simply what all we have to do is just snap these little, there's two little bars right here on the side. Just pull them outward and then it should pop right out. And there you go and then we do have another one down here same thing all right guys I did kind of flip this over really quick and we'll simply have to just go ahead and insert this part is smaller than this side this part is larger at the bottom so make sure it does line up with it down here and then we just insert it to the bottom it should just fit right in there and just snap on if you have to force it like if you use too much force then you're doing something wrong it's not in there correctly and then we took out this other one and then again, like I said, just make sure it inserts there correctly and then just 
push down and you're done you're done installing your ram guys that was really easy and simple right so let me just go ahead and close this up and also if you have dirt like i do be sure to clean that up before you put that back Alright guys, now we'll go ahead and just flip back over and then we will just simply turn this back on and run this. Alright guys, this thing is on now, so we'll simply go to about this Mac. And then you do see right here in the memory, it does say 8 gigs now. So, do you see right there 8 gigs, 1060, Mega Hairs, DDR3. So, you successfully installed RAM. It was really simple, right guys? So, no hard work whatsoever, but that's it guys. If you like this video go ahead and hit that little like button in the bottom left and also if you have any questions about this leave it in the comment section below and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button up top for more videos like this techie videos and also if you're into iphone ipad and ipod touch tweaks jailbreaks and all of that and of course anything else techie i'll try to cover it but until the next one guys i will catch y'all later peace